If you're interested in utilizing your Team Genius account for ongoing season evaluations, this video will show you how to set that up. So we have two different assessment types in Team Genius. We have a tryout assessment, and then we also have a coach style assessment. A coach assessment allows you to invite coaches to a specific player pool and then track their progress throughout the evaluation process. If you wanted to continue with that process, what you would do first is from this dashboard, I recommend going to manage coaches under manage your teams first. From here, you can set up all of your coaches in the Team Genius system. Just hit the create coach button up here at the top type in the coach's first name, last name, and email address, and hit the save button. No worries about adding them to a team at this point. What that's gonna do is just create a profile for that coach that you can then assign to a player pool within the assessment. So going back to the dashboard here, there's two ways that you can create a coach style assessment. You could either go to create assessment here, click on the team evaluation feedback assessment, name your assessment, if you wanted to start from scratch. We do commonly see people want to evaluate on the same criteria that they did during tryouts so that they can give the player some guidance and some areas to work on during the off season before tryouts next year. If you wanted to do that, what I would recommend is from manage your assessments, click on manage assessments. This will show you all of your active assessments. If you wanted to clone your boys tryout assessment in this example here, just click the drop down menu next to the home and to the assessment name and click clone assessment. That will clone over your scoring forms in addition to your player pools, your evaluation schedule, and anything that was under the setup menu, but you can modify that within the cloned version. The main thing is that you're able to get your scoring form cloned into that new assessment without having to create it from scratch. Once you clone the assessment, it will clone it as a tryout type assessment, but what you can do is come back to this page and click on change assessment type to then change that to a coach style evaluation so you can take advantage of the coach tracking piece. So in this example, we'll create our own, but just know the cloning option is 100% available if you wanted to save some time on creating scoring forms. You would then name your form. I'll use this as an example here. And then from there, very similar to setting up a tryout style assessment, you need to complete these four steps to have this ready to score on, in addition to assigning the coach and inviting them through Team Genius to complete the evaluation for their team. So under the scoring form, we'll create a really basic one here just called skills. You can adjust the scoring increments if you'd like to, and overall comments will create a separate comment box for your coaches to type general feedback into. Once you have your scoring form created, add criteria for your evaluators to score on. So if we use skating as an example, you can use our classic slider scale, or what I see commonly for ongoing evaluations is to create name values. So to do this, you can use a drop down menu, for example. This will show you what it looks like, but you can actually customize the choices that you want your coaches to select from. So maybe the worst one is needs improvement, and then we have average. And then we have excellent. Any special instructions can go under the instruction tab. Once you have all of your criteria added, you'll then proceed to player pools. So in an end of season or ongoing evaluation, player pools are actually gonna be your teams. So if you are importing your players into Team Genius from a CSV file, what I recommend is that you add a column for the team name that you assign to each player, and then you can map that to player pool inside of Team Genius, and it will create those for you. So really quickly, just jumping a step here, we'll go to add players, add those from a CSV file. If you did happen to set up all of your teams inside of Team Genius already, and you assigned players to those teams uh, after the tryout process, you also have the option to add players from Team Genius teams, which we'll look at here real quick. Um, this is going to show you again all of the teams that you have in your Team Genius account and the rosters. You can select all, hit add players, and that will do the exact same thing. It will add all of the players to the team and have that team created as a player pool. If we proceed with a CSV file though, we can quickly just find our file here. And then from there, hit the continue button. You'll need to map the first name, the last name, 
the birth date is recommended, and also email address. Player numbers are not required in in-season evaluations, but instead of mapping the age group to player pool, you would map the team name to player pool. If you are happy with that, you would then hit use these mappings. save players, and then that import job is starting. Uh, under player assignments, we should see all of the players assigned to their team. If we go back to player pools under setup, we will see those two teams created here. To assign a coach to this team, you would hit the edit button, and then you'll see a drop down here to select your coach. So if this was the coach name, as you can see, you can add multiple coaches as well. You would hit the save button, and then proceed with adding coaches to the next team. The last thing you need to do is just create an evaluation schedule session. If this is just going to be for end of season evaluations, that could be the name of your session. If you wanted to have mid season and beginning of season, each of those would be sessions within the evaluation schedule. Select the scoring forms to use and also the pools that will be evaluated. Now to send these invites out to coaches, you would go to the evaluation tab, click on assign coaches. And here you'll see a list of all of your coaches assigned to the player pool, which is the team in this scenario. Check the box for each coach for the session that you've created and hit send all invitations. If you had multiple sessions, such as a mid season and an end of season, just select the uh, session that you want them to score on at this time. Once you hit send all invitations, that will send each of these coaches an individual email with a link to click on instead of having to use an access key to score for their team. That looks very similar to what we see here in this option, uh, this email that I received here. So I can see I have an end of season player assignment. I can see the pool name. And if I click on start evaluating, it'll take me directly into the evaluation side of the software so I can start completing that as a coach. So as a reminder, coaches are only able to see the team that you have assigned them to. If you assign them to more than one team, they're going to receive an email like this for each team that they have been assigned to. From there, you can track their progress under the assignment status to make sure that they're completing those on time. If you wanted to send out the reports, the email option here is a great way to do so. I would recommend creating a template first, then you could go to send emails, Click that you want to include the report, make sure that you select a team that you want to send it to, or you can select all. And then create your message. You can drop in your template if you'd like to, player feedback, for example. Make sure that you include this link called athlete report link under placeholders right here. That will allow your coaches or sorry, your players to click on the report directly from the email. You can include comments, any of this additional criteria and attachment, and then send the message. You do have the option to send yourself a test message as well to make sure that your formatting looks good and the report is correct. So that is a very quick overview of how to set up an in-season evaluation. If you have additional questions, please hit the help button down here at the bottom right of your Team Genius account or email us at help at teamgenius.com. Thank you.